the Blur NFT marketplace. This platform has just airdropped a whole bunch of tokens to the users of its platform. This is your beginner guide to get you updated and get ready for season two. Hello, my friends. It's me, the Metaverse Explorer. I'm from the Collective Shift platform. I'm here to give you an introduction into the Blur NFT marketplace. This is the first topic we're going to cover in this video. After that, we're going to have a look at some of the risks of the Blur NFT marketplace and the platform itself. Remember, in crypto, everything has its risk. So you have to be prepared and know what you're getting into before you start using the marketplace or depending on it. Number three, I'm going to give you a platform guide. We're going to go through the entire platform, all the ins and outs, what it looks like, what they're planning on what your collections look like what's your own profile look like and then lastly we're going to finish by buying and selling some nfts so this is your beginner guide make sure you do leave a like and subscribe for me why has the nft marketplace been getting so popular we can see just from this article by andrew hayward just on the, yesterday february 21st blur nft marketplace overtakes OpenSea as ethereum nft trading skyrockets let's read further in this article over 500 million dollars worth of ethereum nft trades took place over the last week alone as the blur rewards model catapults it way over OpenSea. So this is a marketplace that is coming up and challenging OpenSea. So I think it's worthwhile that we cover it in this beginner video. Okay, my friends, let's give you a small introduction. This is the first part of the video. Let's talk about Blur NFT marketplace. So first off, it's blur.io. That is the website. It's an NFT marketplace really designed for pro traders. If you're a beginner trader, it's probably best to stick to OpenSea. But if you want the edge, if you want to be above that 90% of people, go ahead and start using the Blur NFT marketplace. Who is it backed by? Who's the money behind it? It's Paradigm. Paradigm is really like an investment firm. They are a VC firm. They, they support multiple other projects in the crypto industry. And generally they come across as a great Web3 or crypto uh, kind of supporter. So that's the venture capital arm behind Blur NFT marketplace. However, the team for Blur NFT, the team building Blur NFT, no one knows who they are. So take that as you will. So the NFT marketplace is a place where you can buy and sell non-fungible tokens, NFTs. There's a whole bunch of other NFT marketplaces such as OpenSea that have had a monopoly for a very long time. And this is why people are excited about Blur Marketplace because it is a new up and comer. It is on Ethereum, which means you will also need to have some Ethereum as well as MetaMask to use the Blur NFT marketplace. For some people who are very advanced, you might not even need MetaMask. You can interact with smart contracts directly. Now let's have a look at some news articles. Why is Blur getting so popular in, in the cryptoverse so far? This is thankfully brought to you by Masari as well as Dune Analytics. Let's have a look at the uh, leading NFT marketplaces by volume. And you can see Blur right on the top with $97 million in NFT volumes. This is from January 14th. OpenSea was lagging behind at 77 million and X2Y2 is uh, third place with 22 million. So you can see the first two uh, have a giant leap forward. Now, things have actually gotten way worse for, market, uh, for OpenSea uh, in this respect when you look at the marketplace volumes. Let's have a look at this article by Andrew Hayward, which I mentioned first, which is from February 21st. Blur overtakes OpenSea as Ethereum NFTs trading skyrocket. Uh, and let, secondly, OpenSea came out and trying to combat all of this because uh, Blur did something that they are uh, trying to reduce the fees, the creator fees on the NFT marketplaces. Because if you sell an NFT on the marketplace on OpenSea, OpenSea both takes a cut as well as creator fees goes to the original creator. Blur marketplace said, no, we don't want to do that. So we're going to cut all of it. Now OpenSea have come out and say, okay, we'll cut it too. That's where this article comes from. OpenSea drops fees, cuts creator royalty protections as rival blur rises. So the NFT marketplace will only mandate a 0.5 royalty fee for projects without on-chain enforcement, but allows sellers to pay more. Very interesting, right? This is a tit and tat. So there's always, we're saying in crypto that it's always a race to the bottom. Whoever is going to get to the bottom first is going to have the biggest monopoly. So far, OpenSea has had a giant monopoly in NFT in crypto and I think it's about time someone did challenge them. Let's have a look at some other statistics. Some competitors to Blur Marketplace. We have JPEG. Because Blur is a very specific NFT marketplace, it's an aggregator marketplace. We have JPEG whose TVL currently is 28 million. NFTX is um, both on Arbitrum as well as on Ethereum. They have a TVL of 24 million. Solve Protocol 8 million. Pseudoswap 3 million and as you can see it just goes further down. Now we bring you back up to Blur um, NFT marketplace and look at the TVL 128 million nearly 
10 times as much as the next competitor. Let's go ahead and look at the token. The token is currently trading at $1.24 at the moment. It was just below the $1 mark around the 18th of January, uh, 18th of February, sorry. Um, and as you can see, it has been slowly coming up and up. Now, before we start using the NFT marketplace, I wanna to talk to you about the risks of this protocol. As with any crypto project, there are risks. So you have to understand them before you start using the protocol. And I like to focus on this as an educator in Web3. My three risks for the NFT marketplace is that one, the team is actually anonymous. Haven't we passed the time where you can't know who the team are, who's building this project? We don't know who they are. They don't wanna show their face. Can you trust them? This is a giant problem in crypto and Web3 because if they open, if they uh, uh, put out their faces and something happens, they don't wanna own up to that. They don't wanna say, this was my responsibility. Instead, they will remain in the shadows where you now have to be forced to make a decision between trusting them or not trusting them or using their product. Secondly, they have done some airdrops um, of tokens to people who have used the platform. This could be a security token down the line. So have you reported your income? Uh, probably in America, if you have received an airdrop, you might have to report it as income to the IRS. Other countries, are, other jurisdictions have different laws and taxes, so you might have to look into if this might be a security for you. Because currently the narrative in crypto is that a lot of tokens could be securities. And if Ethereum turns into a security, this Blur NFT is definitely a security. Number three that I want you to be careful of is wash trading. The way that people have been farming this token is by buying and selling on the marketplace. The marketplace doesn't care who is buying and selling. And if the, you bought the same thing 10 times and sold it 10 times, that's called wash trading. I could have one account and my friend could have one account and we're buying and selling from each other. We're wash trading. And then we end up getting the blur NFT. Uh, we end up getting the blur token, which is kind of fake, isn't it? This problem isn't really uh, siloed to the blur NFT marketplace. It's throughout the entire NFT marketplace and even in tokens as well. So it's something that is still to keep in mind on, but it's very, very heavily noticed in the blur NFT marketplace system. All right, lastly, I wanna read you a small extract from a Mazari report. So OpenSea begins aggregating listings from marketplaces built Built on Seaport. Seaport is actually a open source kind of NFT protocol that lives on chain. And most of these people use it already. Sound XYZ, Sansa, ENS.Vision. What OpenSea has currently does, done is that they have integrated this open protocol into OpenSea so that they start competing with Blur because Blur started doing this already. OpenSea, by owning the Seaport contract, has a slight competitive advantage. It recently has tried to enforce royalties and blacklist Blur from aggregating listings. However, Blur found a loophole to use Seaport to build a new exchange system. So you can see these two exchanges are fighting for your wash trading. Not necessarily for your wash trading, but for your attention and for your NFTs. So this is a uh, another risk. I think something could come from it. So this is another risk I think is really worth keeping in mind on. Let's my friends, let's go on to the platform guide. Let's have a look at the platform, uh, look at where everything is, how to use it, and then we will do a buy and sell tutorial, my friends. Let's get to it. And we are now at the blur.io NFT marketplace. This is the homepage. This is what it looks like. So ladies and gentlemen, let's scroll around and discover this website for ourselves. On the top left hand side, you do have a few tabs, your collections, your portfolio and your airdrop tab. On the top right, you do have your own wallet. So feel free to sign in using Ethereum mainnet only. So you might have to be using the Coinbase wallet, the Rainbow wallet or even MetaMask wallet. In the middle, you have a search function to look at any wallet as well as collections. In the middle, you have what is featured and at the bottom, what's trending in NFTs at the moment and what is the top of the NFTs at the moment. So let's go ahead zoom in a little bit so you can see let's go ahead and look at the first tab which is the collections the collections tab is a great place for you to see uh, get a snapshot of all the different either trending or uh, popular crypto uh, nfts on ethereum and remember this is ethereum mainnet only let's go ahead and see op pen edition other deeds moonbirds board at yacht club and you can see a few a uh, bit of information from them what the floor price is what the top bid is, what the price has been changing, uh, the volume of them, and what the percentage of owners are, as well as what the supply is. Now remember, it's always good to know what the percentage of owners are. If it's heavily centralized in a small amount of wallets, or if it's really uh, spread out across a whole bunch of different wallets, typically you want a very low ownership percentage. 
so that it's spread across multiple different wallets and it's not, it's not one or two people that have five wallets that control the entire collection. All right, so that's the collections. You can see over here, there's the trending as well. So these are the ones that are trending, which means they are having the most amount of NFT sales and the most amount of volume and people are clicking on them mostly. This is mostly web two data rather than web three data. And then of course you have your favorites tab. I don't have any favorites at the moment. So let's see how easy it is. I want to favorite open deed, other deeds, and I want to favorite Moonbirds. I like Clone X and Azuki. And then let's go ahead and go to our favorite section and see these NFTs. This is a great way to keep on track of all of your <laughs> NFTs on Blur Marketplace. Let's go ahead and go to the middle tab, which is the portfolio. You can see this is my open address here. As you can see, I have no NFTs on Ethereum mainnet, which is very, very sad. Um, so you can see your entire inventory status here if you do have NFTs. Now keep in mind, this is the trader view. This is the trader interface. You can go ahead on the bottom and click onto the collector phase or the collector interface and it takes away all the jargon that you don't need to know if you're a collector. Go back to the trader. Let's see what they are. The rarity of your um, NFT, the listing price of it, what the top bid for it is, what the cost and the, when you got it into your wallet. So it's very interesting how they're trying to uh, segregate the collectors from the NFT traders. And remember, Blur Marketplace is supposed to be for pro NFT traders. So if you're a collector, you shouldn't probably be using Blur NFT. If you're a collector, you sh probably shouldn't be using the Blur NFT Marketplace. All right, let's go ahead and look at the last tab, which is the airdrop tab. Now, the airdrop number one has already been happening. Uh, season two is just starting now. So let's read a little bit about it. Season one was just the beginning. There's a whole lot more coming. Season two rewards have not been revealed yet, but for the next 30 days, all bidding and listing points have been doubled. So how does it actually work? You get points for doing bidding and listing, and you can get higher points by bidding or listing closer to the floor price. If you list very far, away from the bid or floor price then you won't be getting as many points the current winner is machi big brother .eth. he's got a 2.5 boost he's got 5,000 points and he's got a total points in the in the whole season two of twenty-five thousand dollars. so what is he doing he is actually putting bids for nfts close to the uh, uh floor price and he's trying to sell them close to the floor price as you can see this a uh, point system is ending on the first of april but it's not quite clear how these points will translate to an airdrop they say it is uh, factored in but there's no more information than that let's go ahead and go to the idea map now the idea map is their take on the typical crypto roadmap in crypto people have roadmaps to try and tell you what they're working on and in succession this is just an idea map you can see they have started loyalty rewards there is an f switch something that is redacted something that you can't tell what it is it's in another language and then mine for something art blocks was uh included in here you can see zero is, uh, that's binary code someone should go and translate that uh, tokenomics has recently been released liquidity project x not sure what that is and 1155 probably referring to eip 1155 or even an nft token standard so that's the idea map that they're currently working on at the moment. It's hard to tell what else because it's all either redacted or they're trying to uh, put it behind a curtain. So we'll have to figure it out as we go along. Also protecting them because then they don't have to have their ideas stolen by others. So that is in a nutshell, the Blur NFT Marketplace tutorial of the website itself. Let's go ahead and try and simulate buying an NFT and selling an NFT. Let's go ahead and choose one NFT to try and buy, which is the other deed. It currently has a floor price of 2.02 .02, and it's got an owner supply of 32,000 while supply of the entire NFTs is 100,000. Let's go ahead and click on that. Now, this is the interface for you to buy and sell on the Blur NFT marketplace. As you can see, it is slightly complicated. Remember, this is for pro traders and not beginner traders. So you can see, uh, you can show all or you can just select the buy only at the moment. If you're looking for specific attributes, you can click on the arrow down here and search for the attributes you want. Is it an Eastern resource? Is it, uh, uh, does it have a coder on it? What's the environmental tier? But let's say I'm looking for a 
five environmental tier. And these are all the environmental tiers at the moment. You can see you can buy now for 2.11 Ethereum on the Blur NFT marketplace. Let's go ahead and scroll down. You can see that these two are slightly different. This means these two NFTs are listed on the OpenSea platform rather than the Blur NFT marketplace. So you can buy from them or you can come here and buy. On the bottom, on the right hand side, you can see the recent activity on the other D contract. These are NFTs that are both being buy, have been buying as well as sold as well as putting any bids on at the moment. So you can see people are trying to list an item here and you can click buy, go ahead and buy it. Click there, go ahead and buy it. But for me, I don't have this amount in my wallet. So unfortunately, I won't be able to buy any. Let's have a quick look at the sweeping feature. The sweeping feature refers to uh, a, an NFT trader wanting to sweep the floor, which means you want to buy a whole bunch of NFTs at once so as not to spook the market. So you can say at the bottom here, this little slider, I want to buy 10 NFTs. And as you can see, it'll highlight all the lowest NFTs for the tiers you have selected. And you can go ahead and just select buy 10 NFTs. Of course, this is 20 one ethereum or over you know twenty thousand dollars maybe forty thousand dollars if you're watching this video if we are in the bull market you can see on the bottom right hand side behind me you can see the gas price for this what's the gas priority fees and everything else on top of that so let's go ahead and wind this back i don't want to buy 10 nfts i only want to buy the two top nfts go ahead and click buy two nfts is going to confirm in the wallet and you can see I have insufficient funds, which is very, very sad. Now, if I did have some NFT money, I would be in this wallet and I would be able to buy these right away. And it's a simple Ethereum transaction. I'm sure you guys are familiar with this. It'll come up on the right hand side and then you'll scroll through the contract um, information and select the gas price and then you confirm the transaction. Let's toggle now from the trader view to the collective view and see what how different it looks. As you can see, you get and I um, they're trying to emphasize the pictures on the collections way more than the information behind the pictures. So you can see here, we do have the top 10, the owner, the number held. And then from the collection view, you can see a lot more on the pictures themselves. And if you want, you can select multiple of them to buy them at the same time. Now I want you to remember, before you can even buy any NFTs, you do have to add Ethereum to your bidding pool. How do you do this? You click on the wallet feature at the top right hand side corner. You go ahead and see the uh, information here. This is your available funds in your wallet wallet as well as what the balance of your pool is in the Blur NFT marketplace. My pool balance is currently empty. You got to add funds to bid on something. You can withdraw from it anytime and there's no minimum required. But remember, you have to do keep in mind there are Ethereum gas costs with every transaction. So you have to factor that in. Let's say if you want to add 10 Ethereum onto your bidding pool so that you have a balance to start bidding on some NFTs that you want. You click in number 10 and you click add to pool. This is going to come up in a transaction action window on the top right but as you can see I do not have enough <laughs> I do not have enough ethereum to bid on this at the moment but as you can see I didn't have enough ethereum to put in my bidding wallet and just a very small quality of life improvement you can switch from a dark mode to a light mode if you do want to on the bottom hand side corner next to the collector or trader tab click on the little cog wheel and you can click between trader or collector but there is also a color theme we have the dark color theme the medium color theme and the light color theme which is very similar to the open sea theme very beginner friendly but if you are a pro nft trader you probably want the dark theme all right my friends so that is a small beginner guide for the blur nft marketplace i hope you did find it very educational very helpful for you on your web3 journey in this video what did we cover we give you an introduction into the blur nft marketplace we talked a little bit about the risks of the blur nft marketplace we gave you a platform guide for you to go ahead go to the website try it uh, learn about it and use it and lastly we did a small transaction a simulation to see what it's like to buy or sell an nft as you can see it is slightly more advanced than OpenSea, but if you are a, an nft enthusiast this is the place to be now now i've got an action for you i want you to go ahead and actually try it out load it up if you have any ethereum nfts try and sell it on the Blur Marketplace instead of using OpenSea. Remember, OpenSea is still for beginners while Blur Marketplace is for the pro traders. Are you a pro trader or are you a beginner NFT consumer? Lastly, are you farming the airdrop? Have you gotten the airdrop from season one? Lots of people on the internet have posted pictures of their Blur NFT airdrop and they had thousands of dollars, thousands to tens of thousands of dollars. I think one guy got over $1 million, but that is an outlier case. That is not everyone. I wanna know, did you get the airdrop? 
Are you preparing for season two? Is that why you're watching this video? Let me know down in the comments below. Now, if you did find the content educational, please leave a like and a subscribe in the comment section down below, as well as sharing the video around so others can see the Blur NFT marketplace. This, of course, was just a beginner guide. You can do more advanced tutorials if you feel. If you think you need one, leave a comment down in the section below so we can tackle it over here. Now, lastly, I'm going to leave a shout out to the Collective Shift platform who allowed this video to come up. We are a collective super interested in Web3 and crypto education. Make sure you check the description for the links to the platform. Come and join us. Come and be part of this Web3 journey together. And lastly, thank you very much. Make sure you check out some of the other Collective Shift videos right over here and right over there. See you very soon.